वेलकम टू माइक्रोवेव एंड इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन लॉसिस ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड लॉसिस ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन वीडियो दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ मेनी लॉसिस आर हैपनिंग इन ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सो इन दैट वीडियो डिफरेंट फार्मूलाज दैट आई हैव डिराइव दैट आई बी यूजिंग इट ओवर हियर फॉर अ कैलकुलेशन ऑफ पैरामीटर्स इन दिस वीडियो so let us have a question first so if you observe in question a 600 ohm ohm lossless transmission line is fed by 50 ohm generator so here generator impedance is 50 ohm and usually we don't use generator impedance right in calculation of transmission line if the line is 200 meter long and terminated by a load of 500 ohm determine in db's reflection loss transmission loss and return loss so let us see the data which is given to us first so we have been given with 600 ohm lossless transmission line what it means transmission line is lossless right means attenuation loss is zero and z0 that is given 600 ohm that is z0 if the line length is 200 meter so l is equals to 200 meter that is given and if we terminate it by load of 500 ohm so zl that is also given 500 ohm determine reflection loss transmission loss return loss now let us talk about reflection loss first see reflection loss that i have already derived in my previous video of transmission line losses right so in that we have seen reflection loss is 10 log of 1 divided by 1 minus square of reflection coefficient so to have reflection loss calculation we need to have reflection coefficient first so based on the data which is given z0 600 and zl 500 we first calculate reflection coefficient right so reflection coefficient that is rho is equals to zl minus z0 divided by zl plus z0 that i have already explained you earlier so zl is 500 z0 is 600 divided by zl is 500 plus Z zero is six hundred, so this is minus one hundred divided by eleven hundred. So reflection coefficient can be negative, right? One by eleven. So let us solve this. One by eleven. So that is zero point zero nine. Now we will use this reflection coefficient for. reflection loss calculation and we have seen reflection loss that is 10 log of 1 divided by 1 minus mod of rho square right and that is what i have already derived so let us place this rho inside so this will be 10 log of 1 divided by 1 minus 0.09 square So let us calculate this in calculator. So, ten log of one divided by in bracket one minus zero point zero nine square, and then bracket complete another bracket complete. So that is zero point zero three five dB. So now we have reflection loss. now you see next question is transmission loss so if you see my previous video based on losses of transmission line i have already explained transmission loss so that is attenuation loss plus reflection loss right and for lossless transmission line you see transmission line is lossless so for that attenuation loss is zero right for that attenuation loss is zero and reflection loss that we have already calculated so we can say 
tra transmission loss that is 0 0.035 dB right now next is return loss right so return loss that that is also based on reflection coefficient so return loss that is 20 log of reflection coefficient so 20 log of reflection coefficient that is 0 0.09 and here we need to consider mode of row right so this will be 20 log of 0 0.09 so that is minus 20.91 db and remember my dear friends all these losses that is always there in negative sign right so you don't need to consider this negative sign as it is loss so every time losses are negative only right it is just a case of sign convention so here it is coming but usually it is negative only as it is loss I hope you have understood this video. If you have any further query, you just place that in comment box. I'll be happy to help you. And you can download all this material from my application, Engineering Funda.